Hey guys, how you doing? So I thought I would do another um, personal reading for someone, see if it relates to you, see if the story almost personal. So let's see, see if uh, C C C C C C C C C. Let's see, see. Um, you're right, C C. So anybody, uh, give me a story for anybody out there that really needs a story. Please tell me the most prominent stories for people um, out there that really want to hear. A message. So you got Ace of Cups for some of you. There's someone new. Could be around a Libra. Okay. So like looking for this new opportunity with someone. This would also mean that someone is now single. Okay. It just means that I just need to offer or make an offer or at least talk. Okay. But there's an Ace of Cups there. So it means someone that's looking for something that's honest and pure. Okay. Pure of heart. Uh, any messages for General Collective, please, out there? Give me an almost personal reading for someone. So you got Harry Potter energy here, so you could be waiting for Hogwarts. Uh, <laughs> sorry, PS5 crew, right? Um, but for some of you, there's two opportunities, okay? Could be the same person, could be two opportunities of two different people in a general collective reading, um, but the, the opportunities are wide open now. So it means that someone is definitely single, and they're looking at someone from afar. So this would mean that someone that doesn't live right next door to you or anything like that, it means that I'm looking for someone more further afield, someone that I relate to here, okay? So it kind of means that I'm on the lookout, okay? Someone, maybe someone that I know that I could offer to that may accept if I was. This would be like a Libra energy here, okay? And someone that makes a choice that of like, okay, it's either yes or no or it's a maybe, but it's there at least, Okay, let's see. Um, general collective, almost personal reading for anybody that wants to hear it. So you got the Wheel of Fortune in reverse that just came up um, in uh, a Libra reading here. And this was everybody that was getting their just desserts. Okay, basically everybody that was leaving people to leave the energy open for now are the one reconciliation or for people to actually now be able to move on with their life. And the karmic justice came up through this energy here in the Libra reading that I've literally just done over on Patreon. Five of Wands means that somebody doesn't want the other person to move on. Okay, I don't want you to move on, Yvonne, or Evie, or Steve, or Sarah, or Sassy, or Sandra, or Cece. I don't want you to move on. I'm going to cause conflict for you to move on. Okay, so it could be an X energy. The Wheel of Fortune can mean someone that's dealing with an X, or they are, or you are. Okay. General collective reading for anybody that needs it. So, Nine of Pentacles uh, is coming around a Libra energy here, possible Virgo placement, Nine. Um, but like, you know, single, available, uh, attractive, someone that's looking after their well-being. I think a lot of people here, regardless, are kind of like batting other people off and just like, you know what, I can't be doing with this, Dave. I really do not, can I be dealing with arguments, okay? So I'm single, I'm Pringle, and I'm not dealing with a prudish backstabbing bitch. So I can't be doing with all of that. So I'm single. I can make my own decisions about who I, who I don't want to be with. If I want to be single, I'll be single. If I want to be with someone, I've got someone in mind. Okay. Let's see. Um, general collective reading for anybody out there that wants it. So you've got the King of Swords. So there's a Bachelor energy there, but you're getting a lot of com competitive behaviour. Competitive behaviour. We will find out who or what that is coming from, but the Seven of Wands can mean I need more healthy boundaries. But that is normally with people that deal with exes. I need distance. I need space. I need time. I don't want to think about this right now. Stop keep pressuring me for an answer that I'm not going to give you because it isn't there. Stop looking for an answer that I can't give you because it's frustrating, okay? So that can be people that are dealing with, you know, certain people that they're looking for answers for and the other, the other pe or the people in response to are not giving the answers that is satisfactory. So I need to keep trying to find out. But all you're doing is just pushing this person further away, okay, further away. Because as soon as, like, aggression turns up or force, five is Taurus, Right, so it can mean force. It doesn't mean it is a Taurus. It just means that force. Okay, so I'm gonna I'll be a force to be reckoned with, Luke Skywalker. So I'm literally just gonna like keep forcing my way in 
when eventually I'll be like, right, okay, if you want an answer, I'll give you it. No. Okay. So, you know, stop forcing. If someone doesn't want to answer or a question, don't ask it. Okay, don't ask it. Okay. Because sometimes people want that answer that quick that they don't give people time to think that the person will just make a, their own judgment call and they'll be like, okay, fuck that, no. Okay, if you're going to keep pressuring me and you're going to keep asking me for questions that I can't give you, I want some time and space. If you keep asking me, the answer is just going to be no. So you can ask if you want, but the answer is going to be no. So, like I said, there are people that are pressuring people here that may be trying to think more of themselves here, not giving people time to gather their thoughts, to think about where they want to be themselves in life. When people don't give people time and they add more pressure, what is that going to do? It's like pushing, pushing, blowing, okay? So, you know, let's see. <laughs> Uh, general collective reading for everybody that wants it, please. So you get the Emperor for definitely came up, yeah. It's kind of showing me the Libra kind of uh, energy of the separating energies because there was three fours that came up. One was a good Scorpio energy and one was an X energy. They had Scorpio in their chart, but you got four. Scorpio or Aries or both. Okay, so let's see. Um, general collective reading of what's coming up for people. Two, decisions between past or future. Jesus. <laughs> this is not an easy one in order to, for me to kind of uh, read to give you any kind of clear direction because it's all scattered. Now, someone could be, their mind could be scattered in so many different directions that they can't even possibly imagine how many lies or how many times that they've tried to sort this out, but they can't. Now, if a person is like a compulsive liar, if they are a compulsive liar, they trip up over themselves, not realising that they're lying. And that could well be to oneself as well. I think that came up in Sagittarian reading. Okay. Um... And Virgo. If you guys are wondering where Virgo reading was yesterday, it's over on Patreon. I didn't put it out on here, I'm sorry. But uh, they're big ones and they were probably best that I didn't. Because this was going on majorly here. Okay, around Scorpio, Sagittarius and Virgo readings. You'll need to see Patreon to see that. Because I'm just, I'm fed up with people just hating on everybody all the time. And uh, not wanting to hear certain things. And I just... Uh, I'd rather concentrate on the people that are like want things, you know, want to learn. So let's draw you three of these cards and then we'll clarify things here. Um, so give me three cards for the general collective to be aware of, please, this week. Um, so you got cloud nine, high of life and love. So that could be a new person there. Okay. They're on cloud nine. Could be something around a Virgo or a life path nine. It's coming around here. Okay. Could have it in their chart somewhere. Living life free, single, available. Good energy. Living it up. Okay. Then you've also got, um, he's not good for you right now. <laughs> this is going to be difficult in a general reading. So if any of you have been really, 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 really trying or the other person's really, really, really been trying too hard, then you've got to stop. You've got to stop, OK, because it's just pissing someone off like it's it's not getting anywhere. Someone's really trying to just like build their vibration up, build their life up, gather their thoughts to think about what they want for it. A majority of the time when people ask for space, other people don't want that. Oh, well, that's not right. I'm not going to give you space to think. That's not right, right? <laughs> so what it's saying to some of you here that you might be watching for, they're not right for you, okay? They're not right for you because they're concentrating on themselves. They need time and space, okay? Whoever that is. So don't please don't pressure people because you're not going to get anywhere. You can try <laughs> or they can try, but you're not going to get anywhere. Because it's like forcing someone to come back in my life. Like, I don't want you to leave. 
I don't want you to go. I'm codependent on you. What would I do if you wasn't here? I need to be with you. So I need to keep trying. No, a lot of the times energy is about giving up, you know, knowing when to throw in the red flag. <coughs> okay, to call it quits and say, well, <laughs> you know, let's see. So any general messages for people out there, please, that are requiring messages? Um, in love. When you're in love with a very strange looking alien. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> right. But someone's goggle and goopy eyed here. I'm kind of picking that up as new energy. And this is a, a people that are trying to like move away from exes and just keep getting like, you know, I, I'm always contacted by an ex or I'm trying to go trying to think about my health and me, mental health, physical health. And I'm trying to have space to do that. But some people just don't want to give me it. You know, that is control. It is. It's trying to control other people's mind to persuade them to want what someone may not. You know. Um, so let's find out. Tell me more messages about this cloud nine high in life and love. Who is that, please? Four of Wands. Scorpio may be energy. Okay, somewhere. Or um, Scorpio or Aries energy here. Okay, could be going through a divorce, separation and leaving someone at the same time as some of you might. Okay, what's the four of wands for? It's the three of swords. <laughs> I give up, Tommy, I give up. It's not a great clear message really for a general collective. Well, it is if you're in a third party. You know, but three of wands, like, you know, I'm going to have to break your heart and turn you down and say no. You know, it's it's... I don't want to reconcile with an ex. They don't, you know. So it's going to hurt someone when they, or have just done, of realising, no, I'm sorry, but I don't want to reconcile with an ex. Or I don't want to get involved with someone that's already involved with someone. Like, I don't want to do that. So, you know. So, like I said, it could be where people are like, you know what, I'm fed up with the experience that I'm in. It's never really gone anywhere. I really want to be single and move on with my life and maybe experience life with another person and see how that goes. So I can grow and expand and experience another relationship instead of the one that I've been in where I've just been stuck for so long. OK, so I really need to like start thinking, well, I can't if I'm still hooked up line and sinker with an ex and they don't leave me alone. I might actually might consider where I might want to move on. And actually experience, well, if this scenario isn't working out right, bound, it's bound to work maybe with another person. But sometimes when someone leaves, the other person fears that they're probably going to meet someone else. So they don't give them space and think, hold on a minute, it's been two days, Dave, since you spoke to me. I've got to contact you because you might be leaving for someone else. But that's their decision if they do that, right? In love. What is this in love? Please show me what in love is for. Ten of Swords. So there's a love life and an affair that's ended. Like this this whole scenario here of a story is kind of showing me karmically where Saturn is trying to do its work. And it's trying to break people apart that have been going through these monotonous cycles. We're in year seven now, and I told you guys when you if you've been watching my readings. What happens when we start reaching year seven, which is 2023? People will be leaving people and they will more than likely be going to new energies, looking for new experiences. Seven is a relationship. OK, between one and the seventh house of relationship, regardless where it's placed. If the relationship and the circumstance or the town or the job that I'm not happy in, I've either one left already or two on, on my way out. OK, to experience year seven, single or with someone else, because year six proved that it don't work. It don't, Dave. <laughs> right. So what is this? He's not good for you. Temperance in reverse. You see, this is a, this is a dark energy. It means that it isn't a light energy. OK, it just means that I'm connecting more with darker energies that are keeping me stuck. Dark thoughts, dark energy, 
you know, not going out, isolation can lead to ill health. But what it says is he is not good for you right now. And that is around a Sagittarius or a Taurus person itself that could be watching thinking, OK, my ex is blah, blah, blah. And this is what I'm watching for or my partner. What it's saying to you is, is that they're not they're not good for you at the time. This could be ADHD. Okay, I suffer from ADHD. Okay, uh, and it's very difficult. You're more than likely better off. Like I said, if you if you have people that you confuse, like if you have ADHD, right, and they keep telling you that you're confusing and you're always changing your mind and that you never do this and you never do that and you're in and then you're out and then you're in and you're out. What you've got to work on is your impulses. You're going to have to leave because you're. Like what you need to look at as well, guys. Right, and this is this is the God's honest truth. When you both come out of it, you actually both realise that you're actually not good for one another. <laughs> because if you was, it would work. It's never one person's fault when you carry the burden of two people in a relationship. It's never just one person's fault. Okay, so no one is ever really to blame. It's just a fact of coming to terms with. We can't continue to be in these circumstances that keep persisting to show us the same results. So in order to get different results, I've got to go my own way and I've got to experience life somewhere else in order to be able to do that. But I can't do it when I'm attached. So I've got to learn to detach, to work on my impulses, to stop thinking, oh, OK, now I'm lonely. I'm going to just quickly run back to an ex because I've got to be with someone. OK, so people with ADD can actually have to work on that as well, which is like, you know, I don't want to make rash decisions and just jump straight back into X's and just on an impulse, just quickly keep, go back because I need something. OK, it's about tempering that and working on those impulses. OK, so like I said, it can be a lot of these situations where people are like, you know, if we're not compatible, we're not compatible because we constantly keep breaking up. And I don't want to do that to you. And if I'm doing that to you and you're doing that to me, for us to be able to truly figure out who is doing that, I need to be maybe with another person so I can think, oh, this relationship or this person is totally different than my last one. And I actually thought that I had a problem, but I don't. <laughs> I'm just more compatible with someone else. Someone else. But I really, really wish I could be so. Where else than here? Okay, so let's clarify a few of the main cards. Maynards, it keeps coming up a lot. Maynards. Uh, I think that child got lost at sea. Okay. Um, so let's see. What is this two of uh, wands trying to make a decision about? This two of wands, what is this two of wands trying to make a decision about? It's about a Scorpio or an Aries to make an offer. But it came up in Libra reading hugely where it was the Emperor and also a four and Scorpio and everything else. One of them or both of them were getting out of things, going into things. How can I explain it? As a soul group, some of you could have been dealing with someone that you're really not interested in making an offer or get or receiving an offer from. Someone from the past, not interested in it. Okay. It's done, it's done, it's over, it's put No more, okay. That person that you could be interested in, where the Wheel of Fortune shows up in reverse, it's kind of showing you that everybody is kind of like on their way out through year seven to experience it, which means that everybody's leaving people. A lot of people are leaving people or considering doing so. As they do and they run out the door, they more than likely meet someone else. And that is where Razor Light came up through the song that was prominent through a lot of the readings. I really, really wish I could be somewhere else than here. You give me everything I need, but I really, really wish I could be some. So it's like, you know, you've given me everything that I need, okay? But it's not about what I need. It's about what's best, okay? Um, and you might give me everything that I need, but that still isn't enough, Okay. And that could be what is causing problems here. I feel like I need more. Can't give you any more. Yeah, but I need more. Yeah, well, I can't give you any more. Okay, so why don't you want to be with me anymore? Because I can't give you what you're looking for. Your expectations are too much. We're not compatible. We see life differently. 
you need this, I need that. Just because we're together doesn't mean I have to give up my life for you of what you need. I forget my own needs when I keep concentrating on you all the time. I'm forgetting my own need of what I need to do myself other than need to do it all for you. Can't do work for you. I can't do this for you and I can't do that. If I'm not living up to the expectation, then it comes across more as a disappointment. Okay, so I can't end up feeling like I'm disappointment with all the work I keep putting in to you, <laughs> right? <clears throat> both of you, you'll probably both have that thought, okay? That feeling and that thought, okay? Getting frustrated to keep having to put time into you. Yeah, well, I'm getting frustrated to keep putting time into you too, okay? So what's the Wheel of Fortune in reverse for? Is Leo, an Aquarian, in reverse with the, with the Wheel of Fortune. So that means turn down, possible. The strength card is a moon. Cancer, Scorpio, Pisces, or Virgo energy here. Hid, hiding feelings and emotions. Karmically lost. Feel like I've lost. Okay. Feel like I'm going to lose. Okay. Because strength is loyalty, right? Will of fortune in reverse means that I'm loyal to someone that might not be so loyal to me. Or I'm loyal to a team where I will keep fighting Saturn to be loyal to the wrong energy when I'm concentrating on the energy of karmic stuff all the time, instead of focusing on me, I'm always focusing on what you want and not giving you time to, you know. So it means that I'm constantly feel as if I'm being churned and turned around all the time, where it's like in, out, shake it all about, do the okie koki, shove you in a washing machine, clean it up and then get back together. Could be washing back crack here or something like that, I don't know. Um, or washing money. What's the moon? Yeah, so I'm now just on my own thinking, thinking about, you know, I don't want to tell my mum, <laughs> can't talk to my mum, can't talk to my father, can't talk to this, can't talk to that, can't do this right, can't do that, what, what can I do? Stop being loyal to people and be loyal to oneself here. Okay, think about yourself, not other people. Okay, because if you're constantly, constantly, constantly thinking about another person, you are not thinking about yourself if you are constantly thinking about another. It's obvious, right? If in your mind is a partner or the person, what they did or what they didn't do, what did I say, what did I not say, what did I do wrong? What did I not do wrong? Did I do anything wrong? Does the person still want me? Does the person still not? Is the time run out yet so I can? So I'll just think and think and think. That means that you're still avoiding doing the work on yourself. All of the time that you may be single is still avoiding doing work on oneself because it's I'm thinking of another, not me. Okay. So I start to get annoyed now. Okay. Because things are not turning out the way I want it to. Five of Wands, the Star, Aquarius, or Leo, the Star, Temperance in Reverse. Someone's got a huge temper or or they take it out on themselves. <laughs> yeah. You know, you can have a person that is outward and they express themselves with anger, okay, and they get really, really, really angry, or they can try and stop doing that, but then take it out and the confliction of oneself also. This can also be ill health, like I'm really not. It can be mental health, ill health, confusion, okay, dark energy, a lot of aggression, a lot of fighting, yeah, right? If it isn't aggression, it is where I'm running off at the mouth, maybe, or I'm pushing and pushing to the limit, okay, where I want an answer right now, and you'll probably get an answer that you don't like, which is no. Okay, I don't like being told no. Okay then. <laughs> you know. What's the King of Swords? The Queen of Pentacles. And the Three of Wands in reverse. Some of you have got decisions to make between men or women. What is the Emperor for? What is the Emperor for? Has children. There's a good, I told you there was energies that were coming up that were the, the fucking Scorpio and the Virgo reading that I did over on Patreon was, oh my word, 
it was so bad. Like I just, I, I, oh, I was like, oh my god, <laughs> right. So you know, you guys, it's available to watch on Patreon if you want to. It's very in depth. There's a lot of reading there, but in that reading, what I can tell you is, is that there was one good four and there was one bad energy of four. Okay, this energy seems to be coming up around an emperor. There could be a new person that as that's wise, educated. Seprophilia, emotionally intelligent, uses their intellect in order to earn money or their emotional intellect to earn money. But it could be a new person, very stable in life. OK, bachelor. Emperor can also mean a bachelor. OK. What's the five of cups? Turn down offer from an ex or a past energy. What's the seven of swords? In they come like loopy loo. <laughs> See, I told you someone is getting impatient. Like, if you've told someone, right, or you're on the back end and receiving end of it, collective, right, if you've told someone, said, look, I need some space, I need some time on my own, I need to collect my thoughts, this person, what they're doing is, is they're collecting their thoughts, but they're actually thinking about the person. They're avoiding doing the work. So even if you was to go back, if you've split up and you was to go back, this person's avoiding doing the work on themselves. Because what they're doing is, is thinking about the person that left. The torment, the, the anguish, the karmic energy. The other person, if there is one. Okay, so their attention span will be taken off themselves and it will be applied to the person that left. So they're going to be pushing. Regardless, they'll be pushing. Because they'll be thinking of someone else, not themselves. So their energy won't go inwardly they'll reflectively, outwardly start getting aggressive because the person isn't conforming and distancing themselves. Then eventually they get wound up and then they will try to come back in. They will try to come back in really quickly in order to maybe reconcile or not give a person long enough to cope here. Okay, you got... Aries, Leo, Sagittarius. This is normally Leo. When I look at the King of Wands, it's normally a Leo for me, if I was to not go off the paradox numbers and the amount of people that it could be. But if I do normally, it can be Leo's energies for me. Okay. It's kind of like got this vibe of like, can I come back yet? Can we get back together yet? Have you had enough break yet? Have you had enough time to think yet? But what I'm telling you is, is that this person isn't thinking about themselves, so they are actually avoiding that work, is why this will happen again if you reconcile. It will happen again. You, you wait. <laughs> if he was to reconcile, it would happen again. Because it isn't time. It isn't, it isn't time. Like I said, sometimes, and this is valid, sometimes you cannot learn... The same lesson that you constantly go over with, with the same person. So what does that tell you? It's obvious to be best to experience in another relationship with someone else. Because I can't learn anything else with you. Because we've gone over the same one constantly. And it's shown us the same results. So the only way I can ever really learn about relationships and people is to interact with other people. Right. It's obvious, right? So sometimes soulmates or twins or exes, they need to go their separate ways and start like experiencing other relationships with other men or women to see what that'd be like. Because later on in life, maybe a year or two or a few months or weeks or years, a person could actually come back into your life and you're like, fucking hell, I'm single now. So are you? Yeah, God, what happened with us? Yeah, well, we fucking, you know, did you go? Yeah, I've been with, uh, <laughs> and uh, did you learn anything? Well, I actually realised that I actually appreciated you a hell of a lot more because I realised that the relationships or whatever happened between that time was still the same. <laughs> so, you know, you can still have chances to get back with people in the future. You've just got to go off and experience something new. Don't fear, okay, a relationship for God's sake. <laughs> right so there you go guys that's what i've got as a general collective reading for you hope you guys like this if you do please make sure that you comment below uh and also give it a like really does help out if you give it a like uh and like i said man i'm receiving a lot of hatred 
<coughs> and I'm receiving a lot of dislikes and not a lot of views on some of the star signs. So I'm going to cope with what works. If you would like your star signs and you support me, okay, the patron is always there for you because the readings will always be there. Okay. If you're not seeing them on here, it's because I'm doing them and putting them on Patreon. Okay. So thanks very much. That'll be the silver or gold. Okay, guys. Thanks very much. We'll see you soon.